Hi, Trisha. There are definitely some herbs we can chat about to improve low energy and mood and boost your immune system. Looking over your intake, there are some botanicals we can include into a tincture to address your main concerns, but those that I have in mind will also help you with some of your other symptoms if you're interested. One of the herbs I'd like to recommend is called Withania somnifera, which you may know as ashwagandha. It's a nervine tonic and adaptogen, which means it helps to support and regulate your nervous system and our response to different types of stress, so whether that be physical, mental, or emotional, which may be useful for you in terms of excessive fear, anger, worry, nervousness, anxiety, and things like that. This herb also has a mild sedative action, so that will help you get to sleep and hopefully help restore your energy levels that way as well. Additionally, this botanical has anti-anemic properties. I see that you have a history of anemia and are a vegetarian, uh, experiencing hair loss, fatigue, and bruising, so that may all be due to the, to the anemia. So looking into the diet um, and other parts of your life may be helpful to support you, but we can discuss those further. Uh, Withania somnivera is also an immune modulator, so that could be helpful for your recurrent infections, as you've indicated, as you get sick four to five times per year and will help you with a faster recovery. And lastly, this herb has anti-inflammatory actions, which can be useful to relieve your abdominal pain and your cramping as well. Another herb I'd like to recommend is Panax quinquefolium, which is an immunostimulant which helps to activate your immune system. So as, you, as you've noted, you get sick about four to five times per year. Uh, so this herb should help to kickstart your immune response to help you fight off those viruses or infections. Um, this botanical also has adrenal tonic and adaptogenic activity. So again, to increase your energy and mood levels and to buffer that stress response, which can be useful for your uh, excessive emotions and irritability. And lastly, I wanted to recommend Glyceriza glabra, which you may know as licorice root, uh, as it offers some more adrenal support, so for stress and your energy levels, but it also has something called a demulcent action. So what a demulcent does is it helps to soothe the tissue. So this can be uh, used for the GI tract to help relieve some of that abdominal pain as well as menstrual cramping. And um, in terms of your menstrual irregularity, Glyceriza glabra has phytoestrogen effects. So what that means is it helps to regulate estrogen levels. So whether there's too much or too little helps to bring that to a balance. And um, these may be contributing to some of your symptoms. And lastly, this herb has anti-inflammatory actions, which can help improve some of your muscle pain and perhaps some of your abdominal pain as well. If you have any additional questions, I'm happy to answer those. And hopefully we can come up with a treatment plan for you that best suits your needs.